the performer is a multi-effects unit. We have delay, reverb, glitch, and tape stop. We also have four knobs that control each of these effects parameters. Not only that, but we have all these beautiful CV inputs that we can send modulation to. To activate a sound, simply hold it, obviously not right now because it's not plugged in, and let it go and the sound stops. I didn't know this until like later on in the video, and I know. If you press shift and then press the effect, it actually holds the effect, so that's really convenient. You'll notice I didn't do this in the beginning of the video because I didn't know. I'm like holding the button down and just moving the knobs, but yes, it's nice to have that hold function. Next to that, we have our compression. We have our input for sidechain and clock. We have the color button that can be activated by a simple press to switch the color, which is kind of like a noise, a different type of noise. We press shift and color and we can cycle through those. You'll see me do that in the video. And then our tap tempo. We have CV inputs for our effects, our left and right input, left and right output, and then CV inputs for the actual arcade buttons. So let's get to jamming.
Thank you. 
So what did you guys think of the performer module? Is it something that you might want to have in your case? Comment below, let me know what you thought about it. Is it an SP404 replacement? Unfortunately not because it doesn't sample, but it can mangle effects in a similar way that the SP404 can. So if that's what you're using your SP for and you want a Eurorack format, definitely take a look at the performer. The arcade buttons are a nice touch and add an interesting way of interacting with your modular. That's it guys, if you like what I do, consider becoming a patron. You get all of my music, sound packs, you name it. You can also check out my merch, dollarsjamming.com, as well as sample and sound packs. Catch you guys on the next one, and stay fly.